Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about uh, device jam and uh, how to integrate uh, this jam in your uh, Rails application. So first thing to do is create uh, a new application. You can call uh, whatever you want. I'm going to call uh, just uh, um, app. And as usual, I'm, uh, I'm going to use the scaffold method to, to create the, the view, the control and the model. Uh, only because it is the faster way to to create uh, these things. Uh, if you need, uh, just ask how to create um, um, H1, and I will do it. I will make a, a video tutorial. So let's go in your um, inside your application. Uh, there we go. The first thing to do we can uh, open uh, with uh, our uh, um, editor. I'm using Atom. In, uh, in the same time, uh, uh, we can uh, generate uh, the scaffold. For example, I'm going to create just uh, a product uh, uh, model with uh, a name and the price. Um, let's go to use the integer. Okay, so uh, we are going to create a model product with the name and price, and uh, also the view and the controller for the products. Okay, Atom is uh, opening. Okay. So let's take a look uh, to our device. So to, to search for uh, the gem, just go to Ruby Gems and uh, digit whatever you need. And uh, here we go, device. You can see here how many downloads. That's very uh, good for you. Okay. And this, you have to go to the home page, and the home page is this one for your device to install the device job. So now just continue and uh, um, run the rake db migrate. That's because uh, when you generate a scaffold, you create a model, so you have to migrate the database, otherwise uh, you don't have your uh, new database in the schema. So, after that, we can uh, probably we can take a look um, running the server and see what we got right now. So just going to localhost 3000. And when the server is ready, just click enter. It's waiting for uh, the server. There we go. Let's go enter and see if everything is going right. Perfect. So this is the Rails home page, and uh, we want to change uh, first. First, we want probably uh, going atom. Uh, we want to change the um, root page. So let's add the index page products index page. So this is the controller and this is the action that uh, we want to show here. So just refresh your page and see here uh, in uh, the console should uh, render the view. Here we go, the index view. So we need uh, bigger. Okay. Perfect. Now we can uh, we can add uh, the device gem. So just go down and you have to add gem device in your uh, gem file. So go in your gem file. and um, add, uh, for example, authentication, your gem device. Each time you put something in your gem file, what you have to do is simple. Just run the bundle install. Enter. Perfect. Now we have to generate the device install. So generate device install. 
and run. And after that, we have to follow some easy instructions. So we have to configure it, uh, configure uh, this URL. So you can just uh, copy and uh, paste in, um, in the development uh, RB file. Go in at the end of the page. There we go. Copy and paste, perfect. So the next is uh, make sure that you have uh, a root, uh, something here in uh, your root page, perfect. And you can uh, put uh, an alert in your uh, application HTML file. Let's go. Okay, before the yield. And um, we can generate our uh, model. So to generate the model, uh, as usual, uh, we have to generate something for device. We have to generate device model. Um, I'm going to generate a device user model and enter. After that, uh, we can uh, run the rake db migrate, db uh, migrate, and also we can generate the view for device. So we can uh, change some stuff in uh, the registration and um, the edit uh, view. So we can just write this. So generate the view for device. Perfect. Now just uh, put something to check. Well, go, um, go in your uh, uh, application controller and just copy and paste. Copy and paste this line. So before action, authenticate user. So all the time you are going to uh, try to go in, uh, inside your uh, application, you have to uh, authenticate. You need to authenticate. So just copy and, and paste. OK. So let's check it out. Uh, you have to restart your server. As usual. Okay, now when it's ready the server, we can refresh the page and see what we got. Refresh the page. Rendering. Now it's rendering the device session before the index. So this is the alert message you need to sign in or sign up before continuing so let's do it sign up and uh, do it like test gmail.com put the password minimum uh, six characters and sign up perfect welcome you have signed up su successful um you we won't know who um, as you see, uh, you actually you, uh, we need also the logout so we can log in and log out. So let's do some change uh, in our index page. We can use, uh, now I'm going to use it here. Um, so we can use uh, the helper current user so with the help this helper will know what we have so i'm going to do it the the inspect because um, this help us to show what is um, everything about the user so let's run so we have an id because the user is saved in the database we have an email when it's create and update but we don't have a, a name for the user. 
Um, so we, we have to, to change something. Just add now a logout so we can log out uh, from uh, the application. Uh, just do it, uh, a link to logout. Now we have to put the, the path to go out. And to do that, in order to do that, just uh, run, uh, go in another tab in the terminal and run rake routes. So we are going to see uh, what kind of um, uh, routes we generate. And we have to find the destroy session to, in order to log out. Here we go, we have uh, for the user this path we create. So we need the session, we need the destroy. So this one, destroy user session, is uh, what we need here to do the logout. And just tell him what kind of method to use it, delete. So actually, if now if we do refresh page, we have the logout and we can log out. Okay, what we want now is add a name field here because we don't have anything now. We have just an email and password. So to do that, just um, we have to um, go in the terminal and generate a migration. To, um, uh, to add the column for the user model. To do that, we just say add name to user. Name is a string. So this command is going to generate a migration and adding the name in, uh, as a column in the user model. We create the, uh, the migration. Let's check it out. Migrate the, the last migration is add to the mo uh, the add this column names uh, data type string in the model user. So everything is, is correct. Just run rake db migrate and um, so now <coughs> in uh, the schema in our schema. We should find when the, the migrate is ready. Here we go. We name and we find name. Now we have the field name. After that, uh, we can do something quickly. We have the in our view device. In the registration, we have new and added. We want to change uh, both of this uh, view. So what we have to do in uh, this field, that you remember that we have email and password, just add uh, a label name. And uh, a text field. Text field name. We can change the autofocus here. True. I'm going to delete this now because I, I'm I'm not showing you the um, how to beautify this. We can do it after. And we can do the same thing for edit. So now just do the same, create a label for the name and uh, create a field. So a text field, text field name, maybe focus, true, and just create this, I don't need this, oh, no. Okay, now, what you have, to, uh, you have to do, if you run the, the server now, you, you will have a problem, you are not uh, saved the name. That's because you have to permit uh, these additional parameters. In, in order to do that, just go in, again in the device page and uh, follow 
in the section strong parameters you have to copy from here before action you have to um, configure the parameters and you have to permit these parameters just copy this in your uh, um, application controller we have application controller here and just passed the code so what we have here we have to uh, permit uh, the sign up uh, for the name and uh, just duplicate and also the update right account update for the name perfect now we have everything that we need we can uh, restart uh, our server again and check we got going localhost 3000 wait for the server and enter perfect you need to sign up Let's check in uh, sign up. Oh, we have a name, email, password, and password confirmation. Name, just do it in name John, John uh, Gmail, and uh, password, and sign up. Welcome. Now we should have a name, John. Perfect, we have everything right and we can go in the, the index page, just close everything, index page, and we can just say, for example, hello, Mr. Current User dot name check it we have to put this here we don't need this because we are on the block p hello mr john perfect for today is um, everything if you need uh, something more uh, just a comment out or just write me um, a message